this with saying thank you to our team from Edmonton to uh, Surrey to Vancouver. Um, guys, can I see you guys here? Uh, where are you? All right. Thank you very much. Of course, to my wife, thank you very much, hon. Where are you? Oh, you're in the back, right there. All right, so. Start. So my topic is basically breaking through the invisible glass, guys. And uh, I want to start it off with this question. How many of you believe that if you try a little bit harder, you could do a whole lot better? How many of you believe in that? Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Well, good thing you see some hands there, right? How many of you believe in that? Awesome. Now, I want to start it off first with a piece of story that I've gotten from this book, U Squared. I don't know if, you, I don't know if you've heard about it. Uh, but it's a very, very good book. It's by Price Pritchett. Not Jamie Pritchett. It's Price Pritchett. <laughs> and the story goes like this. There's a small fly burning out the last of its short life's energies in a futile attempt to fly through the glass of the window pane. The whining wings tell the poignant story of the fly's strategy to try harder, but it's not working. The frenzied effort offers no hope for survival. Ironically, the struggle is part of the trap. It is impossible for the fly to try hard enough to succeed at breaking through the glass. Nevertheless, yeah, there you go, the fly's right. This little insect has taken its life on reaching its goal through raw effort and determination. This fly is doomed. It will die there in the windowsill. No doubt this approach makes sense to the fly, but regrettably, it's an idea that will kill. Would you guys see that? Awesome. Guys, I'm telling you right now, I've been in Canada for 15 years. My first seven years is like that. Trying to break through, trying to break through, and something stopping me from doing things. And I could not figure it out. And that's my topic right now. Is that good? Yeah. Guys, this window, what's stopping this fly, helpless fly, and I could relate to that with three barriers in life. Let me just start with the first one. Now, the first one is, we call it wrong or bad habits. You know, some, some, some of the speakers talk about this. But have you guys used a smartphone before? I would assume so, right? That's a smartphone right there. Guys, if there's no app, like applications, can you use that smartphone? No. no way, right? You need to have different apps for different functionality. True? Yeah. Right? And, you know, you need to install them. Yes? Yeah. All right. Now, some of them are productive ones, some of them are not productive ones, yeah? <laughs> not productive ones are those, you know, that waste your time a lot. Big time, right? Now, guys, smartphones are only good when you have an app. Same goes with you guys. In your business, you need to have skills, habits. One of which is what? Prospecting, is that important for you guys? Guys, you need to install that in your brain. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't go there. <laughs> hey, Jamie, what happened to my phone? <laughs> Closing a deal. Guys, it's a habit. It's not just like it, it happens. You know, you've got to learn those on how to do that. And again, you got to install. Oh, oh, yeah, there you go. Jamie must have messed that up. <laughs> and, Guys, recruiting is the same. You gotta install those things, right? Now, if you don't have them in you, you're not gonna be able to use it. You're not just gonna do things, yeah? Right? Because right? it's not out of your habits. So, how do we actually install these things in your brain or in your, in your mind or in your being? Well, whoa, that goes off again. All right, so now I'm telling you guys here. It, the biggest challenge with this is it's not the same as installing an app in your iPhone or in your smartphone, right? You know, we, we could wish that, you know, we can go to an app store and then download them. But it's not as easy as that. So how do we do that? Have you ever... <laughs> have you ever... watched a movie called Kung Fu Panda? How many of you guys see that? It's an amazing movie, guys. My 
my kids loved it. I do. <laughs> you know, to be able to inherit some skill sets and habits, you need to be able to work with someone, guys. Someone who is really good in what they do. You don't just do, you know, get it from someone who's not really proven enough. You have to get it from somebody who really done something for themselves. You have to be you have to become a good student. That's what I'm trying to say. Become a really good student. Be an intelligent follower. How do you know you're an intelligent follower? Because you are so careful to listen to not just anybody. That's right. Yeah? That's right. All right. And how do you guys get these things in? Well, practice, practice, practice. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Can you say that with me, guys? Right. Repetition, repetition. But you have to make sure it's coming from people who are proven. Yeah. Second barrier. How many minutes do I have? Three minutes, okay. Wrong goals. How do we know that you have a right goals or wrong goals? For most of you have written down good goals this year, amazing thing. You know, we have done so many things just to taught, teach people how to do that, right? You know, your goals are like your compass. It sets your direction. If you don't have a goal, you're going to be at lost. Yes or no? Yes. Well, here you go. Guys, I believe for most people, they fail not because they don't have a goal. They fail because for one thing, they have a wrong goal. Most people have goals, but they don't succeed. Yeah? yeah? Not everyone succeeds. But I'm just saying that wrong goals can be one of the most number one reason why you guys are failing. Now, how do we know if we have a wrong goals? Well, I have created my own goals for, like a quadrant goal tester. Say what you will, but this is the quadrant here, guys. What you wanted to do is to have your goal to be at the sweet spot. Now, let me just explain this quickly because I have only two minutes right now. How it works is this. If you guys, okay, are working on a current results and you keep hitting the same result, the same result, the same result every single year, every single month, Guys, you're not going to grow as a person because the purpose of the goal is for you supposed to be to grow. And if you're trying to hit something that you've hit last year, you're not going to grow. Meaning to say, you're going to be stuck or you're going to be growing slow. And some people, though, set so high of a goal that they feel bad about it because they said, hey, you know what? I don't think I can do that. And they feel frustrated year in, year out. You know, they're so frustrated because they're not hitting the goal because it sets too high because they don't believe it themselves. And they become so frustrated. Now, guys, what makes us a really good goal is this. Every single morning you wake up, it's not because of alarm clock. <laughs> All right? You wake up in the morning because you want to go out there and reach your goal because you're so excited enough and you've never done it before, but you believe it in yourself that you can do it. That's what the right goals are. Okay? Next, third one. Last one. What is the last one, guys? Wrong circle of people. I couldn't emphasize this enough. How do we mean by that? Do you know that your environment has more to do with who you are right now than where were you last time? Or where, what, what, what family you came from? or what degree do you have? It doesn't matter. Just, just like this slide, right? Trying to get to the screen and it keeps listening to wrong people. Trust me, it's gonna work. But look at that. Same person got stuck in the same thing. Before, all right, there you go. I got one minute. Guys, to be able to do great work, you have to be associated with people who are great so that it can push you towards. Your goal. Now, if you're stuck and going on in your business, just check, check these three things. And thank you very much. Have this goal in circle. Thank you very much. Kevin. All right. You wake up in the morning because you want to go out there and reach your goal because you're so excited enough and you've never done it before, but you believe it is. Hey, if you like this video or any of the other videos that I have on my channel, stay tuned. We have so many more coming, but I want to make sure that you're in the know, that you know when they're coming. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and make sure you hit the notification bell.